standing float from Ricardo. Uh, you know, I, I think it's safe to say he's trying to save as much energy these days as he can. Uh, yeah, he had a long, long day yesterday with four matches in the qualifier. Uh, I don't know what kind of training he's been doing, but as skilled as he is, he's just going to rely on that training, and he should be just fine. Safe to say he's been here before. <laughs> yeah, I doubt the pressure is going to be getting to him too much. Trouble set, absolute hammer, really impressive play by the new Canadian-Brazilian duo. Came Schalk, uh, like I said, I have a lot of experience playing against this guy and trying to block him, and he just brings a lot to the table. He has a lot of different speeds. He's going to spatch balls at you deep to try to catch the defender off guard. He's going to cuff the ball, and then he loves to hammer down that line. So uh, watch for uh, no. for those three things, and uh, watch how well he does it and switches it up. And he's, he's a very deceptive jumper. He jumps really high. You don't think he's going to, and he just keeps elevating. Uh, Ricardo and Kame take the first, or take the lead going into the technical at 12-9. Uh, pretty tight match so far. A couple stretches for either team. Yeah, I mean, I, I like what I've seen so far. It's kind of what I expected. Ty and uh, Marty are, are always scrapping. They're one of the best teams at just, like, pulling out victories when you least expect it. They're one of those teams you cannot take easily. Right. But Marty, great young player, super athletic. Ty Loomis, as good as a si of a side-out player as you're going to find. You can always seem to put the ball away. So I think they're going to give him a handful here, but I mean, you got to give the the advantage to the best Brazilian player of all time, Ricardo Santos. Yeah, absolutely. And again, folks, uh, I'm tri Triborn, and uh, I'm here with Ryan Doherty, helping me out do the live broadcast and bring you guys a little uh, a little bit of our nectar, as I like to say. It, I don't know knowledge. if I would say I'm helping him, but we're giving it. I'm giving him my best. <laughs> He's making me look good. <laughs> I do make him look, look way short. more handsome by comparison. I've been told I have a face for radio. I'm not sure if it's, that's why they put me on this broadcast. I've lost a little weight, I'm not going to lie. Uh, so I had to throw on a large shirt instead of XL today. And then Ryan comes up here and makes me look small again. Ah, uh, yeah. So I make him look short, not small. That's kind of my life on tour, though, as a, uh, as a, as a blocker. 6'5 is, like, small these days. So you little guy you're the I little know. guy out there we're all waiting for you to make the switch to defense so that us blockers get a chance to play with you <laughs> hey I, that would be fun i'm not gonna lie tyrone loomis big hit he's also a pretty fiery emotional guy like he thrives off kind of some energy so he's gonna be trying to pump up the crowd try to get people into it nine seven twelve here we got uh looks like the score down in the stadium is a little off. I don't it. believe that it is 17-9, but <laughs> I could be mistaken. Oh, Marty, big time effort on, on the team. Oh. Just out of bounds. I think that makes it 3-10, 13-10. Looks I'm like sure. Ricardo tried to uh, unload on that cross body. Have you, Ryan, had any experience with uh, Ricardo's crossbody line. He he has such an amazing arm. Really whippy. He can turn it one way or the other. It's it's oh, it's pretty impressive what the man can do. So uh, I have not had a whole lot of success against blocking Ricardo. Uh, I actually play, served Emmanuel way more when we played him. I'm just going to I'm just going to take this opportunity to to say that I've beat Ricardo more times than I've lost. But I will also say that it's at the tail end of his career. Doesn't matter. Still counts. I had to mention it. One sorry. of the best of all time, an absolute legend. You can say you have a win against him, you, you'll take it. Yeah, for sure. And one of the, honestly, one of the best blocks I've had in my life was against him because he was so hyped up and I was so jacked up and scared of that, that, that line bounce, that cross body hit that I watched over the years so much that I, he came out against me as a rookie on the world tour and just, just was ready to just show me who's boss. And luckily, the, the one thing I wasn't going to let him do is bury that line on me, and I just sealed it. One of my biggest blocks in my life. But uh, he definitely got a few past me after that. But 
the, the I just one had counts, to say it. The one counts, yeah. <laughs> so we got a 15-10 timeout by Marty and uh, uh, Tyrone Loomis. You look at Ricardo go back there serving. It looks like he's not doing much, but what he is doing is he's moving him around. He's changing the tempo. He's not letting you get real comfortable with receiving serve. As in, he'll put one right in your lap, and then he'll try to put one right down the line or one short over the net. So uh, I think he caught Marty sleeping there a little bit and uh, was able to get the ace out of it. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd say it's, it's safe to say that beach volleyball is a veteran sport in general where, where these guys who are a little older are, are able to win matches off of experience and, and doing things the right way, whether it's saving energy or, or having having a smart strategy in, in place. And uh, that's what you're seeing out here with Ricardo and, and Cam. You're absolutely right. You know that better than anyone playing with the Benjamin Button on the AVP. 45, 44 years young, Johnny Hyden. I've had a brief glimpse of it, keeping Johnny warm until Tri gets back. But uh, yeah, I mean, the, the guys that really know how to win, uh, it, it means a lot more than the guys that can fly around the net or the guys that can hit the hardest. Can never learn too much out here, and I, I, I think I'm five years into my beach career, and and people still kind of think of me as a rookie. <laughs> you're still the new guy. I mean, you're it helps young when you play with John Hyden. <laughs> yeah, you're very young compared to the rest of the Americans. You're gonna have a, a lot of years left in you. Hope so. Cave Shulk, solid cross body, big hit into the angle. Tyrone Loomis can't come up with it. I think we've got 15-11, if I'm right on the score. Maybe it's 14-11. One guy we haven't really talked about much is, is Marty Lorenz. He's kind of, he's made a big impact these last few years and, and really uh, established himself as, as, a, as a good player with Ty. Um, obviously, he's playing against some of the best <laughs> players out here. What a shot by Ricardo. Back wow. flippy jumbo to the corner. Uh, I do not have that, that one in the repertoire. I'm going to go ahead and admit it right now. <laughs> Ryan's got the size, maybe not the jumbo. <laughs> but his partner, Johnny Hyden, has got the Johnny jumbo. So Yeah, Johnny can hit the jumbo. I am just going to flail at that ball and hope something good happens. <laughs> So we just had a side switch, which means 15-11 is not the right score. Go, go. Nice smooth cutty by Ty Loomis. That's an in-system play. That's that's where they're going to need to be if they want to cr climb back into this game. I think we're all struggling with the score at the moment. Right, right now on the... On the uh, Jumbotron here at the stadium says 18 to 9, which I doubt is correct. Yeah! Uh, uh, so we're going to find it. Marty with the big ace. Like you were saying, Marty, he's a younger guy, but I really like his game. I mean, he's super physical. He's got great hands for setting. Uh, he, he can play the right or the left. So uh, I think he's going to be a guy to watch out for in terms of blockers for the next couple of years. There's that deep swing from Cam I was talking about. He'll, he'll see that the defender's in place and challenge him, but put a little spatch on it so it comes up high and raises up on the defender. So even though they're there, they can't make the dig. It's it's a really tough hit to stop. Absolutely. And then he'll drop it a little bit shorter with a cut shot, and it just he's got a pretty complete game on offense. Not to mention that his bread and butter is probably that, that's when he squares up to the line and just hammers it. Yep. Marty Lorenz with a solid side out. Tyrone Loomis has always been a pretty solid server. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he goes for one right here. I'd love to see him get fired up and bring that energy for Marty right here as he usually does. Hey, yeah, I was right he went for it, but just didn't get it over the tape. So I think 19-14 might be the right score, but I could be off on that one. I know it's getting getting down to the wire, so if Marty and Ty are going to 
make a move. They they need to make it soon. Oh, there's Solid the swing there's by the Ty swing. Loomis. Love it. I'm told we got the right score here. 19-15. Okay. 19-15 is the right score. Good to know. So I think Marty's going to be thinking about going for it. Oh, there it is. That's the, that's the block Marty wants right that's there. That's what I was talking about. I knew Ricardo wanted it. Marty stayed nice and disciplined and took that low line, or else he would have yachted that into the Hudson River. Exactly. It's real easy as a blocker to see that Ricardo's facing into the angle and to start leaking a little bit. So that was a good discipline block by Marty. 19-15. Trying to find a way back. That'll help. Came shot. Unable to handle the serve too well. Ends up putting the shot into the net. We've got 17 19. We've got ourselves a ball game here. Timeout. Uh, timeout by the uh, Brazilian Canadian duo. Wonder what would be the stereotype about a Brazilian and Canadian. Duo, a really polite salsa dancer. Would be something along those lines. <laughs> yeah, really. That's uh, that, I never really thought about that. We have uh, polar opposite personalities on the court. I'd say. And something that I think is really interesting is uh, they're very new partners. Uh, Ricardo is getting better with. Ricardo is getting better with English, but he's still that's not his first language. And came does not speak Portuguese, so them communicating on the court has to be very difficult. I mean. They're they're using a lot of hand signals and just kind of play, you know, relying on their experience to make this happen. It would be awesome if we could mic them up. Uh, oh my I'm God. Sure there'd be some great dialogue. Please get a boom mic on Ricardo and came when the, during those nice little hugs while they, uh, while they cel celebrate a point. This is, this is Ricardo being nice, by the way, we've seen him out there with some of his partners and he gets on them. He rides his partners for sure, when, especially when the pressure gets on. Uh, he's just that kind of competitor, right, but right now he's taking it easy on Cam, probably because they're winning. <laughs> the winning, winning helps solve a lot of those problems. So, Marty Lorenz back to serve. Going to need to see if we can't get a couple more here to, to knot this up at 19s. Ooh, good high swing. By Kane Shulk. That's the one that Ty Tri Born was talking about, where he's just going to spatch it deep into the angle. He's ended up making a, a, a big point out of that, out of a tough serve. Yep, I've seen it plenty times before from Kane. All right, so Ricardo for the mat, for the set here. All right, good pass, good set. Maybe a little tight, maybe a little tight. Uh, that's a, that's a tough hill to climb if you're trying to hit against Ricardo with the tight set. So uh, we got a 21-17, the 35 seed out of the qualifier, the 16th seed in your tournament. All right, everybody, we've got a couple uh, special guests up here in the crowd. We've got a trivia question coming from... Lauren Bendrick. Hey, Lauren, how you doing? Nice job. Thank you. I'm great. Thanks. Good. And, and who's our contestant over here? Uh, MC. MC from? Toronto, Ontario. MC from Toronto, Ontario. Welcome to America. Welcome to New York. Uh, Lauren, you got a little trivia question, and it has something to do with, with Obrigado, sort of. Obrigado coconut water from Brazil. And if you answer the question right, MC, you're going to be taking home an Obrigado prize pack. Now, Lauren, what is your question for MC? Well, so Obrigado coconuts are from, from Brazil, so this question is about the Brazilian player on the court. It's about Ricardo. How many Olympic medals does Ricardo have? Oh, do, we, do we get a hint, or do we? Do you, you want a hint, or do you got it? Give her a hint, Lauren. There's one of each color. That's pretty helpful. I'd say uh, three. Oh, I think I think she's right. Three Olympic medals for Ricardo Santos. Congratulations, MC. You'll be taking home the Obrigado prize pack. And yes, Ricardo has. Let's see, I think you got a silver in Athlon. Uh, no, silver in Sydney. Is that right? I don't. Yeah, gold, gold in Athens and uh, a bronze in, in Beijing. 
Nice. Four Olympics total. Are we right? Is that correct? Just say yeah. Yeah, we got it. We're all good. Yeah, thanks, Ricardo. Appreciate it. Obrigado. Did a nice little giveaway there. Uh, kind of gave the, the contestant the answers, but <laughs> she got she got a free goodie bag. Yeah, guessing how many Olympic medals Ricardo has. Hints: there's one of each color. Well, that tends to make it a little easy. Yeah. And we're back with some live action here in set two. Tyrone Lewis to start us off. Good pass, good set by the. Out. Just a little bit out. The poke goes long by Cam Schalk. So I'm going to go ahead and ask my color commentator here, Triborn, a quick question. This venue is fantastic. The backdrop is one of the coolest we've ever had. Of all the tournaments you've played in, what's your favorite scenery well, when you're playing? Yeah, that's tough. They're so different, and we've played it everywhere. I mean, last week, uh, some of these guys went to Moscow and it was snowing. <laughs> that, I'm guessing that would not be your favorite. But, I mean, look at this backdrop right now. You can see some of the, I mean, this is the, one of the most unique, if not the most unique city in the world. And, uh, I mean, we're playing right in front of it with the most perfect backdrop. And uh, it's just so unique. So this is probably one of the best backdrops I've seen. Uh, for me personally, I, I love going to Rio de Janeiro. Mostly okay. because, okay. as you know, Ryan, the, the waves are pretty good, so I can go body <laughs> surf after. And uh, I'm, I'm from Hawaii, so I like those tropical beaches. But, um, you know, we've played, like, near the fjords in Norway, as you know, and, and uh, beautiful beaches in Croatia. Uh, and yeah, tries talking about me knowing about the raves, waves in Rio because he watched me get absolutely demolished while he was out body surfing. <laughs> exactly. Good but times. No, we're, we're in your hometown now. Look at this this beach we got here, uh, Hudson River. That's Ryan's. Uh, this is my kind of wave. <laughs> like the Hudson River is the kind of waves that I can handle well. No, you're, he's surprisingly good in the water, everybody, for a New Jersey boy. Luckily, he can stand when he's yeah. when he's about like uh, 40 yards out past uh, everyone else. Yeah, very similar to a longboard. I float well. I don't <laughs> swim particularly fast. <laughs> All right, we've got a 3-2 ball game here. Tyrone Loomis with a big uh, cover on Ricardo, just flopping it over, over on two. <laughs> we got my uh, my uh, Instagram live feed going. It's my first time uh, putting that up, but, but feel free to tune into that on Instagram, at Triborn, and, and you can uh, shoot me some questions, and we can answer it here on the live stream. Right. And my Instagram has one picture that I've uploaded in the entirety of it, so uh, I wouldn't follow me. Go ahead, just st stick on somebody else. 3-3, uh, three, three, came Schalk with a big swing. I'll take Ricardo the back, back to serve. <laughs> Short serve by Ricardo, handled well by Ty Loomis. Good set, turn down the line. Now, it, in your experience, is Ricardo more of a set blocker like he calls what he's going to block and he sticks with it really well or is he more of a read and feel blocker as in if he feels like the ball might go into the angle he might go for it even if that's not what his call was well i think to be honest a, a player of his caliber is always going to have the green light i'm sure he gives himself the green light whether his partner likes it or not and what i mean by that is he has the ability to audible if he sees something. And that's a huge part of volleyball because there's so many different conditions and, and things that you have to worry about, uh, like the wind and, and the set angle and if it's dying inside. So so many things are changing in the moment that you have to, you have to adjust. And the best players in the world are always have that as an option. And I think Ricardo is one of them. Good high hard hit well, by Cam Shaw off the top of the block with Marty Lorenz. We've got a 4-5 ball game. Came back to serve. He's got a pretty good jump serve, uh, but he's tend to be more of a float serve guy for this tournament. I, uh, I'm not sure if he's going to end up bringing one out by the end of the year. But up, oh, asking you shall deliver. Just misses it long. 
Had him down the middle. We've got a 6-4 ball game. Marty back to serve. Wow, just missed down the line. A couple missed serves in a row. I think Ricardo is going to be good for getting his serve in. He tends not to be super aggressive, uh, so he's going to be able to block more when he's serving. Doesn't want to uh, give up too many points on missed serves. Oh. And just as I say, he dials up an ace. Top spin serve that Marty doesn't handle particularly well. Tyrone Loomis is unable to bring it back from under the net. We've got a 6-5 ball game. There's a, there's a little wind here picking up, so something you may not have noticed there is that, that he put some top spin on that ball, and the wind have helped it drop and, and get it out of Marty's reach. Oh, and there's the wrist away. So same, same toss, but he hits the left side of the ball and, and goes wrist away into the seam. And Marty was actually stepping towards that line. That's a huge veteran play right there. Yeah, really, really well placed. We've got a 7-6 ball game. Last serve on the good side. Gets him in trouble. Ricardo is going to get a swing at it. Marty makes a dig. Tyrone Loomis, good set. Oh, oh, that should be a net call by Ricardo. Yeah. Net Ricardo Valley. not too happy about the set. Thought he, thought he needed to square up there, but... Again, the FIVB where Ricardo uh, has done all of his medals, uh, they have a little bit different standard with handsets in the AVP. That set to me looked perfectly clean, looked like it was uh, handled well by Ty Loomis. So uh, that might just be a little bit of a culture shock for, for Ricardo. You think, uh, so uh, Ryan, you've had a lot of uh, experience obviously going back and forth between the Wilson ball and the the Mikasa that we play with on the world tour you think uh, right. these international guys are, are loving the feel of this heavy people I think it's new to them so they're a little bit hesitant with it but uh, for me the Wilson's the best ball that we're gonna be able to play with. that's the that's the gold standard in terms of uh, a beach volleyball so uh, I know that guys like came and Ricardo if they get used to it with the with the contact they make they're going to be able to really do some incredible things with that uh wilson ball yeah i'd have to agree with you it's it's kind of like going back to elementary with the wilson you you can do a little more you have a little more uh control and, and you can really hammer it and without it sailing on you exactly it just doesn't float as weird as the mikasa does sometimes you'll hit a a very boring float serve and it'll be the hardest pass you've ever made just because it decides to make a right turn on you for no particular reason. All right, Ricardo back to serve, 9-8 lead. Handled well by Ty Loomis, good sets. And he sees the court. That's a really smart play by Ty. He's able to see that Cam breaks towards the line, hits a soft cut shot, knows that nobody's there. Clean, accurate, simple, pass set hit. That's what yeah. you like to see. It's yeah, kind of boring sometimes, but that's what wins matches, really. I think it's harder for people that don't play as much to realize that he's not only jumping and following a ball that is moving, uh, but he's taking a look at what the defender is doing on the court before he hits it. Really impressive to be able to kind of have that body control and that spatial awareness to see what's going on, not just you know keep your eyes solely on the ball. Big block by Marty to take the lead. We've got a 10-9 ball game, Ty Rumitz. Going to try to fire one up here. Uh, a little bit of a trouble set. Came trying that spatchy. Wow, what a set. Oh, Marty wow. making plays right now. What a play. Great hustle by Marty Lorenz. That is a really athletic play to be able to get that back into the court and Ty Loomis. This handles it well, puts it into a deep corner. He had a really aggressive block earlier on Kame, and uh, that's two in a row, and it's pretty clutch. Yeah, Marty, for uh, for one of the younger guys out here, is not being intimidated by the legend of Ricardo. Oh, Kame. look so, at that. And right on cue, Tyrone Loomis fires one up. We've got a 12-9 ball game by Tyrone Loomis. And, uh, 
Marty Lorenz out in front of the legend Ricardo Santos and came so We got a question coming in from my uh, Instagram live feed and, it, and uh, they're wondering what is the exact difference in the setting standards on the two different tours? Now, my understanding of it, and again, I, I can't speak for the refs on either side, but my understanding is that the FIVB, as long as you're quick and you're in, facing the right direction, they're going to be happy with what you give them. Uh, you can spin a little bit. It might be a little bit of a double. They're okay with that. Here, it's much more about the ball coming out pristine, but they're not as worried about you bringing the ball down a little bit. So, uh, like Ty Loomis doesn't have incredibly quick hands, but his sets come out pristine every time. So he's going to get away with that almost every time on the AVP. Whereas the FIVB, they might start looking at it a little more as if it's a lift. You agree with that assessment, or you see yeah. it a little bit differently? I'd say it's a little more of the traditional beach volleyball uh, set standard on the AVP tour so you can deep dish it a little more uh, but it has to be clean which I personally love uh, but when I went to the FIVB tour I realized that I could take advantage of the fact that the ball can spin so I speed my hands up and uh, that really changes the tempo for your not only your hitter but for the blocker so if you use it to your advantage it it, it can uh, it can really help you but it can also hurt you if you're if you only like one style of setting absolutely yeah and try is actually being very modest here because he's got super quick hands and it always comes out clean anyway so it's different with a guy like me trying to set a grapefruit with these giant mitts i got and we got a miss serve coming out of the technical timeout 10 serving 12 came salt back to serve imagine this guy throwing a baseball <laughs> which he used to do in the minor <laughs> leagues seven foot pitcher throwing at you yeah I'll stick to volleyball. Great cover by Marty Lorenz. But Game Shark's able to put it away. That's a fortunate uh, bounce there and set for Game Shark. Absolutely, up. yeah. There's, there's nobody there. That's that's real tough defense. But, I mean, you got to give him credit to give himself a chance at that play. Marty makes good, good cover, just unable to secure the point. Right, tough one. Good high swing by Ty Loomis. Gets off the top of the block with Ricardo. We've got 13-11. It looks like Marty's going back to serve. Ryan, we got someone uh, chiming in asking uh, if you're going to be at Poor Etch Major this year. We will be at the Poor Etch Major. Uh, John Hyden and I are in the qualifier there, so we've got our work cut out for us if we, we want to make the main draw, but we're excited to get out there and compete because I have never seen porch uh, i've heard that it is an absolutely beautiful event uh really looking forward to it all right i'm gonna read, read up what's going on with some of the other courts here we've got uh smith and jang pulling it out three sets 15 to 8 against sheila shaw and Brittany teagues and then uh we're into set two with nick, nick lucena against the Baumgren brothers nick and uh, phil won the first game, 21-17. They're currently up 2-1 in the first. 2-1 in the second, I'm sorry. We also got uh, on court one, Summer Ross and Brooke Sweat, who, who, who are uh, top team for the U.S. this year on the World Tour, playing against the young up-and-comers who, uh, who have a, a, a lot of expectations on them for their dominance at the NCAA level in uh, Kelly Clays and Sarah Hughes. These girls are everything. That is happened. an incredible, incredible play. We just had They're a saying it went over the antenna. Ty, Ty Loomis and Marty are arguing it went over the antenna. But Kane was able to make a miraculous dig to get the ball back into the corner. Hits off the line. This is going to be a big point right here. I'm wondering what the referees are going to say. Look at this. We got the fans getting into it. They got a little. They definitely have their opinions yelling down at the refs. Ricardo's getting fired up. Ty's always fired up. Yeah, from my mind, where Kane was at in the court, there's really no way it went out outside the antenna. And the referees agreed with me. They said that that ball's uh, inside the antenna, so that ball's in and down with an amazing play by Kane and uh, Ricardo to, to score that point. That's frustrating, especially when you're playing against such a good team. You, you want all those little points, but, uh, you know, Let's see if they can come back from it and stay focused. All right, this is going to be a big point for him right here because this could be a turning point in this match. Ty's not scared. Whoa. Smart 
High swing by Ty Loomis. Takes a little something off, goes off the top of the block. Then to tie it up at 14. That's a big play by them. This is actually a pretty funny atmosphere between me and Triborn because neither one of us wanted to do play by play. We just want to be the color guys that talk about what we see. So we each have to kind of take turns. Neither one of us is really great at it. So I'm kind of the play by play guy for the moment, but I'm going to get sick of it in a second. Make try have to. Talk about what's going on in the court. Came Shaw, good you. high swing down the line. He's able to go off the top of the block by Marty. Uh, they can pull out in front 15 14, but this is anybody's ball game right now. Yeah, I, li I like our one two punch, you know? We're, <laughs> we're, that, we're that versatile team like the Latvians. We can both block, defend, but in our commentating ways, you know? We can do play by play or color. That's my, that's my volley comparison. Yeah, that. That is the first time anyone has ever called me versatile. <laughs> hey, we're just standing here, so don't take too much credit. Right, right, right. Yeah, uh, Ty Loomis, great swing. Tried to hit that angle, was able to go off the inside of the block and get it down into the court. We've got a 15-15 ball game. Marty going back to serve. I think he's on the good side. you got to let one rip here, Try. I agree. Good side, why not? It's going with the float. Down Kames line. Great read by Ty there. Can he finish it? Oh, a brutal transition set. It was touched off the block, so Kim had to set him up to go on uh, on two off the dig, but he overset it and uh, came up short. Yeah, that's a new partnership right there. If they know each other a little bit better, the timing gets better, the spacing gets better, and I think that they might have a better swing at that point, but. Uh, you know, the break goes to Ty and Marty at 15-16. Oh, that's just a buttery set by Ricardo. Came actually pushed it tight, but uh, Ricardo made it look easy. He gave him a straight up and down set about two feet off the net, right where Came wants it. And then there's that great cross body, that uh, sharp angle swing by Came Shock that's just so tough to defend. You know, I've been seeing a lot of these, these sets when the passes aren't perfect, these lower level teams who are just barely lower level are, are not pulling off these sets. They're either going over a little too tight or a little too off, and, and that's the difference at this highest level. Just a bit outside by Marty. Oh, that would, that would have been a great swing for him to, to be able to put that point away, but uh, we end up breaking into a little bit of a lead for Ricardo. I think we've got a 17-16 ball game at the moment. Ricardo back to serve with the floaty. Simple veteran float serve. Ty goes back and stays aggressive off the hands of Ricardo Santos. Yeah, real aggressive swing by Ty Loomis. And that's one thing, I, again, I can't say that enough. He is a fantastic side out guy. No, no fear of any block or any defender. He's going to go and try to put that ball down. 17-17. Uh, uh, again, the last chance on the good side. I wouldn't be surprised if Ty Loomis ends up trying to go for one here. A little I'll miscommunication be between Kame and Ricardo. Scoop. Ends up saving it. One-handed one scoop, Ricardo with the dig. Oh, what a set. Oh, what a set. And, and the Ty touchdown. Loomis interrupts. Is that the kind of atmosphere is that Ty plays best in try? When, you, when you've seen him fired up like that, is that him at his best? Oh, this is, this is what he plays for. This is why he's still playing. I mean, the fans got into it. That's the, probably the, the liveliest I've seen the fans today. And I mean, that's what they're here for, and he's here to entertain. Yeah, whenever I see him pop up like that, whenever I see that emotion come out of him, you know that that's him at his absolute peak. So uh, this is going to be a down to the wire. And uh, Marty and Ty, uh, Ty would love to take this to a third set. Ty feeling it. Ty with the scoop and deliver. Now, is that a set play by Ty and Marty right there for Ty to break to the line at the last second? Yeah, you know, it looked like they called that play. Uh, they were they were uh, banking on came shooting that high line, and uh, it's it's a really good high line shot. Like we said before, came gets up so high. So if you're not going to break on it early, it's going to be really hard to get there. Uh, but they made the 
right call there. And, and Ty's, Ty's been coming in hard, so he really uh, was able to uh, capitalize on the off speed there because the last few times that he came in so hard. Uh, that's a good point. It's a great point. All right, we're going out to the outside court here. Uh, the match that we had mentioned earlier, it's actually a great matchup. Two of the top uh, teams were playing out on the FIVB Tour. Hey, Ryan, I know you got a match coming up here. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, who you got and, and uh, what your, you don't have to tell me your strategy, but uh, <laughs> give me a little insight. That's correct. I play a fellow Hawaiian, a guy named Trevor Crabb and his partner, Sean Rosenthal. So I'm not going to share too much details with Triborn here since he actually coached them against us in uh, Huntington Beach. Uh, but yeah, I mean, those guys, really good team. They can do a little bit of everything. Like you were saying, versatile earlier. Uh, they they can split block, they can play either side. They're both just really talented volleyball players. So uh, last time we played them, it was an absolute grind of a match. Uh, they had us dead to rights in 2017, but we were able to make some points happen with a really windy environment. Uh, hopefully we can pull out another good one against them today. Stay tuned and check them out. Game Shulk, real smooth, high line over the block. That one was a really nice job of reading where the defense is at and hitting it where they're not. He's going to go back to serve, give himself a chance to tie this up at 19. Someone just asked on the Instagram feed, do you think Ricardo can even get mad at a Canadian? <laughs> <laughs> Ricardo, from what I've seen, can get mad at just about anybody. If, if the score is in his favor, he'll be okay. If not, then uh, good luck being his partner. And we've got a 19-19 ball game. I think the set was a little more inside than Ty was looking for. That it was a, a, a tough pass, so unable to uh, make that one happen. We've got a 19-19 tied up ball game. Oh, good aggressive swing off the block. We've got a 20-19 set point. Now, now again for the AVP, they freeze at match point, but this is not a match point so there's no frozen score there's no trickle ace rule uh everything's just a live ball if marty can put this on the sand they're going to game three ryan what are your thoughts on on the rule change because i know a lot of players have different thoughts and have been going back and forth on it Ooh, huge block big by block by marty lorenz diving into the angle is able to take that one that is a great block by a young blocker and that is a big time point for them we've got 21 19 Game three against the Olympic uh, champions. We were just given some cue cards, and I'm going to be real honest. I don't understand what they said. I can't read. No, I'm just joking. I can't. <laughs> it's just me try are just going to keep winging it you people at home the mute button is right at the bottom of your screen if you need it so uh, now i wonder we've got a great atmosphere here with uh, the hudson river on either side of us i don't know if we've been keeping track of river balls but i saw quite a few of them in the qualifier yesterday always a really fun thing when the ball is going the river and then the kayaks get to race for them so that is something that i personally really enjoy watching kayakers all of a sudden get really competitive to see if they can be the one to pick up a free volleyball yeah it's it's uh just like baseball they're trying to get those <laughs> shanks into the water exactly covey cove i love it look at that fans kayaking out there watch out for those big boats coming through and i mean look at that skyline did you ever think you'd get to play best uh Talk after points, not during. Okay. So apparently, we are not supposed to be doing the play by play.
Came Shawk with a big hit into the angle. Uh, Triborn, is that Came's best hit, or is he just so versatile that you, you have to play defense on all of it? I'd say that's his best hard hit when he's when he's winding up and hitting it. But he has so many good shots, and uh, that's what you saw right there. Came Schalk with a huge hit into the angle. We've got a 2-0 lead here in game three. I'm Ryan Darty. I'm up in the media booth. I'm with Triborn, superstar watching these guys go at it. We've got a 2-0 ball game. Oh. Huge block by Ricardo. Is he is he reading that? Is he reading that, Triborn? That was a good read right now. There. They may have called it, but Ricardo's been doing this for years, so uh, that, that's no surprise right there. He's all over that hard hit. And we've got a shot into the net. That's 4 nothing lead with the Olympic and uh, Canadian and uh, gold medal bronze. Oh, Jesus. I just got way flustered. Sorry, everybody. But we've got a 4 nothing ball game. We've got a timeout. We've got game three, and we've got a really fun atmosphere here at the New York City AVP Open. Thank you guys for all coming out. We're really excited to have you. Let's hear it for these great competitors while they're out there busting their butts on the sand for you. Ladies and gentlemen, we got some of the best players that we've had, especially on a Friday. And uh, internationally, we have these two players from Canada and Brazil and uh, let's all uh, take advantage of our time watching these Olympians play out here. I don't know if anyone mentioned to you the fact that Ricardo has three medals from the Olympics in his four trips to the Olympics and his partner uh, doesn't have a shabby resume either. <laughs> He's actually an uh, Olympian in Rio for Canada so uh, definitely a treat for us out there today. Absolutely but let's not sell our Americans short. Ty Loomis, Marty Lorenz, Working hard, pushing to a game three. Super athletic, fun guys to watch. Let's hear it for him. We get him fired up, get him back in this game. What a cutty by Ty. Delivering time after time. Love that fire, Ty Loomis. What's the call? Serve is just out. Really aggressive serve by Marty Lorenz. We've got a 5-1 ball game. Ricardo Santos back to serve. Perfect location by Tyrone. What a swing by Lewis. High line, that's a great job by him. Oh, and the ball, ball comes back in. Ty Lewis, two scoops and delivers on. The over on one, we've got a three to five ball game. Ty Lewis back to serve. It's even got some dance moves for you guys. <laughs>
Ty Loomis going for the top of the block. Ricardo with the cagey move, moving his hands out of the way. Ball's just out of bounds after a couple great digs by Ty Loomis. We've got a six to three ball game. We've got the Canadian and the Brazilian out in front. Came Schalk heading back to serve. He wishes he had that one back. Got those transition sets, and uh, I know Cam wants to put that one away. Ty Lewis with another dig. Marty on his horse, just unable to get to the ball. We've got 7-4. I believe it's Kame Schalk back. Oh, no, Ricardo's going to be serving this ball up. Really tight ball game. Could go either way right here. Excited to let uh, Ricardo go back there to serve. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the second half of the third set. What I like to call crunch time coming in, so <laughs> make your presence felt. Ty Loomis going for the jumbo. Came stays put. Is able to make that dig, put the ball away in transition. Little bit of breathing room for the uh, for the Olympians. We've got an eight to four ball game. The Olympian back to serve. by Marty. He's able to make that transition swing. Keep him in this ball game. Ty Loomis back on the good side. Wouldn't be surprised if he fires one up right here. We've got a 5-8 ball game. Going for broke Ty Loomis. Just a bit outside. Just a bit outside. Tried the corner and missed. What a block by the Olympian, the legend, Ricardo. The wall. That's a big time block by him. Makes it a 10 to 5 ball game. We're going to switch sides. We got any Brazilian fans out there? Okay, got a few. Any Canadian fans? For Cape Shulk? How about for the American boys? Any American love? Let them hear it. Let them hear it. Let's go, USA. Smooth high line by Ty Loomis, just over the top of the block. He's able to keep him in this game. We've got a 6-10 ball game. Marty Lorenz back to serve. Nice deep swing there. Patented Cam Shock deep spatchy. And we've got an update on the outer courts. Brooks Sweat and Summer Ross are able to take it in two over Sarah and Kelly. Nettie call with a deep dish by Tyrone Loomis. 
And out on court three, we've got Phil Dahlhauser and Nick Lucena taking out the Bombgren. 21-17, uh, 21-15 in two games. Big swing off the block by Kim Schalk. Staying aggressive. I mean, that's a good block by Marty. Unfortunately, just out of bounds. We've got a 12 to 7 ball game. <laughs> what an effort by Marty to try to get to that trickle ace. Ty Loomis popping it up, but just unable to control it. We've got a 13-7 side switch. The Americans head on over to the good side, see if it can't bring them a little low. Those are always tough to swallow, especially late in matches, but uh, with the rule change, once we get to match point, we, we don't get any more of those let serves. Right, very smart by Kame to use that now instead of it two points from now. Totally meant to do that. And cut! Go! Oh, yeah. Great cut shot by Marty. He gets up so high, just snapping that ball down, giving him the point. We've got an 8 3, 18, I'm sorry, 8 13 ball game. Tyrone Loomis scoop and the aggressive swing. Giving them a point. They're going to need a couple more like that, but they are fired up on center court. Ty's trying to bounce it in the Hudson River. Haven't seen anyone do that yet today. to be outdone just hammers cross court we've got set match point here on center court let's hear it for him get up off your seats let's see if ricardo and uh came shot can pull this one out in three Change of pace on match point. Just a bit short. And uh, now that the score is locked, we're going to be switching every seven points. Uh, I'm sorry, every seven serves, regardless of points or not. So uh, that was the seventh serve. I apologize. Uh, five points because it's third set. So every five points, we're switching sides. Great set by Ricardo there, taking that bump juice, as we call it, and setting up Kim Schalk for the kill. Better move by Marty Lorenz. Give himself some time, get all that sand off before you get uh, forced to play the next point. There's that let rule. We don't want to see it end on a let serve ace. That's why the rule change was made. Great 
Great high swing by Ty Loomis, staying aggressive off the top of the block of Ricardo. We've got 9-4, Marty Lorenz back to serve. Oh, that's a tough break for Marty at the net. They had advantage, but Ricardo was able to make the veteran move at the net and uh, come up with the joust. What a recovery, tough pass. Marty gives him a great set. Tyler Lewis knows what to do with it, puts it away in the cross court. We've got 9-4, Tyler Lewis back to serve. These boys are battling for you out there, ladies and gentlemen. Let them hear it. Cam, yours. A well-deserved round of applause after an incredible rally. We're going to switch sides. 9-14. This is still anybody's ball game because of this free scoring. I am excited to see how this one turns out. If you're not sitting up here in the shade, you know it's hot down there. There's no, there's no wind down there uh, on the sand. And, uh, these boys are, are feeling the heat, but uh, they're still battling. Came Schalk to serve it up. That will do it. Ball is just out of bounds. We've got a uh, nail biter here, 15 to 9 in the third set. Great effort by Ty Loomis and Marty Lorenz, but Ricardo and Kame Schalk move on to the quarterfinals tomorrow. They will be playing all day. Don't worry, Marty and Ty Loomis are still going to be playing tomorrow. They just move on down.